back kids TV hey guys welcome to another one of our mail science videos so today we are going to be doing one of the artificial sea experiments we're going to be doing the chemical seaweed so let's get the box open and see what we need to to do to do this experiment then so before we start guys head over and give us a subscribe and if you like this video give us a great big thumbs up so the box is open and here is the chemical seaweed leaflet cool so it says grow a chemical seaweed garden make sure you've got on your protective gloves and eyewear okie dokie let's get those protective gloves okay there should be a pack in the box what we need for this experiment is the big beaker that came out from our starter pack beaker. so pop it on the tray okie dokie and then we need to put 100 ml of water into this beaker. But what we'll do first is get all of the bits and pieces we need out first. Right, so we need this. Um, see if I can say it right. Potassium hexacyanoferrate. We need this. Yep. And we also need um copper sulfate some zinc sulfate and some iron sulfate okay lots of sulfates, lots of sulfates. so what we're going to do is we're going to pour 100 ml of water into your beaker so okay. do you want to do that so first to the middle. Yep. so can you see where the 100 ml is on there yep good yeah that's perfect okay cool there's a measuring spoon a stirrer and then one of these to open so we've got our 100 ml of water yep. in there now what we need to do is add in um, the potassium hexacyanoferrate we need to put two big spoonfuls of that into the water That's it. So pop that in the water. And then another one. There you go. Two. Okie dokie, put the lid back on that so it doesn't fall over. Okay. And then we're gonna use the stirrer with the ball on the end, yeah, to stir it, mix it up until it's all dissolved in there. Yep. So you mix it. I think that's it. Okay, so now that's all done, what we need to do is um, we need to put a small piece of each of these into the beaker, but we need to make sure they don't tap that they don't touch when we pour them in. Uh, I kind of want to try it. Why don't you pour the first one? Yeah. And then we'll pour the next ones to see if we can um, uh, keep I'm them out of the way. The blue one. Okay, what is the blue one? What does it say on the front? Copper sulfate. Cool. So you're going to do the copper. That one's really bright blue, isn't it? Yeah. So if you pour some in and try and pour it close to the edge so yeah. that we've got space to put the other ones in. Okay. Bit more if you want. Okay. It's up to you, however much you put in. That's it. Yeah, cool. That's good. Okay, what does that look like in there? It looks like... Is it very blue? It looks like chocolate a bit. Does it? Okay, so now we'll do some iron sulfate. Looks like chocolate and bubblegum. And we'll pour that over that side. Whoa, look at that. So the iron, iron has turned blue and the copper that was blue has turned brown. And now we'll see what happens to the zinc. Yep. So we'll put the zinc over the back Corner. Over there. And that's white. What colour is it going to change to? I think it looks like it's going to stay white, doesn't it? Yeah. 
So now that they are in there, we have to be really careful not to disturb it. Um, what will happen is the metal salts will gradually dissolve and react with the potassium hexacyanoferrate in soluble copper iron and zinc compounds form. Um, these don't just precipitate out but form bubbles because of the osmotic pressure. And then the fancy chemical seaweed will grow from those bubbles. So it says we have to leave it for 20 to 30 minutes for this to grow, okay? So what we'll do is we'll leave it for a while and then we'll come back and show everybody the results of our experiment, okay? So we've been waiting 20 minutes and this is what our awesome seaweed looks like. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get up close and see what that looks like. This is really awesome. It really does. I don't know whether you can see on camera, but it really does look like um, almost like a coral reef, doesn't it? Yeah. With all of the seaweeds. They've all grown like really long, um, spindly pieces, haven't they? And they all look different as well. Which one do you like the best? I think I like these brown ones the best. I, like, I also like the brown ones. They they didn't grow too much. No, the, the blue ones have grown slightly, haven't they? Yeah. But the brown ones and the, well, the white ones have grown the highest. Mm -hmm. You can just about see in there the little blue ones. That is so awesome, isn't it? Yep. Really super. We've had so much fun um, doing this experiment, haven't we? And all of the experiments so far in this kit, they've been really totally awesome. We're really enjoying it, aren't we? Yeah. And we've learned a lot, actually. We hope you liked this experiment, guys. It was super cool, wasn't it, Oscar? Yeah. Don't forget to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more science videos. And thanks very much for watching. Bye. Bye, guys.